minutes, I'd like to welcome back to the show Dominique Landry. And today we're talking about fitness trends. There's a lot of information online and sometimes it's too good to believe and you want to because it's an easy workout. But we're walking through some of these and you're recommending if they're good or bad. Because yeah. with trends, a lot of times you don't know. You just don't know. And they're so popular. Absolutely, absolutely. And especially now, you know, people want to jump on the easiest thing and get results. So the first one that is popular, online workouts. So you go online, you dial up a workout. So what do you think on, on that? I actually absolutely love this trend and I, I think it's here to stay and I think it's one of the best things ever because so much of, so many people, um, the barrier to fitness was like, how am I yeah. going to get it in? Like when in this schedule of my life can I actually do this? And so, you know, this happened before COVID, but I think COVID really ramped this up Definitely. where it's like, you have tons of online options. Gyms are giving you a hybrid option to do classes from home, um, you can go on YouTube, Instagram, anywhere and find really great workouts that you can do, that you can enjoy. I mean, you can have dance ones, hit ones, um, cycling I've seen. So there's so many options here. So it's really one of those trends that you wanna keep going. And then the next step of this I've seen, and my cousin actually told me about this, was like, training in the metaverse. Yeah. So it feels like gaming and you're knocking out like boulders and things of that nature, but it's really a workout. So I'm actually really interested to see how that goes. So it's interesting. So one of my kids, he has Oculus. So yep. he'll come back in the room and he's like dripping sweat. <laughs> right. It's like, dad, I burned 400 calories. See, and that's it. But then like when I tried some of the games too, it's sad because you are sweating and like your muscles are cramping up and you just feel I like the biggest it. dork doing it. But at the same time, you're having fun. I, I should say this. Might knock if out you a look TV, at though. what you look like, you're, you're like you're like in this like a reality world sweating. <laughs> it's really bizarre. So, but there you go. So a couple options, you know, yes. right, when it comes to that. All right. So next up, diets. Right. So there's a lot of diets out there that are trends, and you hear a lot of different stories. Some people they'll thrive on something like keto. Other people are like, no, like I I, I couldn't. There wasn't enough options. Right. Where are you with this? So you, I mean, diets have been around forever because it's like biz, big business. Yeah. People make a ton of money from people hopping from diet to diet. And so that's why they're gonna stay around. Honestly, my, my barometer is usually, if it's not sustainable for you, don't do it. If you cannot do it long-term, it's just not gonna be worth it. It's not the diet for you. And the problem is that when you do these diets, especially the really strict and rigid ones, you're actually messing up your metabolism because you're bouncing up and down. I mean, you can even look at body, like bodybuilders right. after they, they reload after a, a competition, like they're shredded and then they're just like fluffy. And you're like, hmm, what is going <laughs> on here? Honestly, your body cannot handle going like that, that restrictive and then bouncing back and forth. You usually end up putting on like an additional 10 pounds sure. every time you do it. So and I a lot just, of times some of these things, I believe it's just water weight. If you're like, you know, restricting weight. carbohydrates, it's mostly water. So you'll lose that yes. right away. You're like, this is yes. great, but you can't sustain it. You cannot to ever sustain it. And then real quick, uh, mini workout. So that's one of those things that pop up where people are like, you know, 15 minutes, I'm going to get a lot in. Your thought on that? Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Because the chances are you usually tend to go longer anyways. And it's one of the things that gets you to go to work out. And also, you can do a lot in 15 to 20 minutes. I think it's if it's do nothing versus doing sure. 5 to 10 minutes, always choose to do something. Because even if you don't get a great caloric burn, you do get a mood boost. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. And so it's, it's really important to get moving in any way we can, in any way possible. You know, something that I came across too, and I think it's good advice, if you don't feel like working out, if you just try something for 5 minutes, it's exactly what you said. You Chances start. are you'll get a full workout out of it. So in your mind, just be like five, five minutes, minutes. Yep. Go, go for a run or whatever. <laughs> and before you know it, you're in a sweat. Minutes have passed. And we don't have to do four hours in the gym. I think a lot of people feel like if I don't get a full hour, I did not get a good workout. Trust me, I do 30 minutes. That's yeah. all I got every day, honestly, <laughs> like between kids, husband, everything. I'm like, as long as I get 30 minutes in, I'm good. And that, you can do a lot in 30 minutes. Absolutely. Dominique, if people want to learn more about you, what's the best route? How can they do that? Yes, you can contact me on Instagram, fit underscore enough, Facebook, fit enough with Dominique Landry, or you can go to my website, I'm fit enough.com. All right, I'll see you on the metaverse. Yes. We'll work out. <laughs> All right, stick around more to come right after this.